It is snowing here in Cincinnati. Sip the juice, I got enough to go around. And the thought takes place uptown. I grew up on a sidewalk while on street talk and they talk to Hulk New York. I go to Queens for Queens to get the food from Brooklyn. They pony in Manhattan and never been took it. Go uptown to the Bronx and boogie down. Get strong on the island, recoup and lay around. Time to build my juice. Good evening, everyone. I was originally going to make this video a unboxing and review of my sideshow Luke Skywalker Red 5 X-Wing pilot. But unfortunately, or fortunately for me, I received some stuff in the mail today. So this video is just going to be a very, very quick review and mail call or mail haul. What do you call these things? Mail haul? Mail haul video showing you the stuff that I got in the mail today. So very, very excited to show you what I got here. And then uh, I promise that the next video that you see after this one will be my unboxing for that Luke Skywalker sideshow figure because frankly I want to freaking open that thing and put it out and pose it and display it. But for right now, let me show you what I picked up. So first things first, happy Suicide Squad Blu-ray release day. I did pick up from Target the Target exclusive Suicide Squad Blu-ray. This is the Blu-ray, the DVD, and a digital copy. It also comes with, because it's the Target exclusive, a little book, as you can see here. Very, very cool looking, uh, very, very cool little book here. I was just flipping through it, and look at this. This is the kind of stuff that's in this book. It shows the Joker's gang, and uh, obviously everyone recognizes the Panda Man, and then some people recognize the guy with the eyeball on his head, but look at these other dudes in his gang. There's a guy with like a baby mask. <laughs> that's freaking creepy as shit. But um, it's, it's some cool stuff in this little book here. Uh, I would definitely recommend it if you're going to pick this up. Plus, Target did not have the regular Blu-ray on sale. The regular Blu-ray was $24.99, not on sale. It's usually $19.99 for their new Blu-rays. But full price for the regular Blu-ray. And this was also $24.99. So for the same price that you could pay for the regular Blu-ray, you're getting this exclusive with this lenticular cover as you could see here, and a little booklet, and a pretty cool packaging. So I would definitely recommend this. I watched it already today. Um, I liked it more. Now, first of all, I was one of the uh, people that liked it uh, when I saw it in the theater. Uh, there was a couple things I didn't like. Some of the dialogue was kind of cheesy, but I uh, watched it again, and uh, I actually liked it more the second time around, watching it on Blu-ray. But um, definitely recommend this Suicide Squad extended cut. Um, some of the scenes that I thought were going to be in the extended cut were not in it, unless I missed it. I was pretty sure that the uh, scene where the Joker has a grenade at the end, they made a freaking pop for it uh, for New York Comic Con. Uh, I don't remember seeing that so if you did buy this extended cut and you saw that scene let me know because I did not see it uh, they basically had additional scenes with Harley and Joker um, which didn't really help the story that much uh, it showed some of the more of their backstory and kind of how they um, met and whatnot but didn't really help the story that much so I got that and then going along with my Suicide Squad theme, as you can see, I have my Suicide Squad multiverse figures out. The reason why I have them out is because I got a package from my buddy Rube the Great. Rube and I uh, have like a constant back and forth trade going. <laughs> He's always finding stuff I'm looking for down there in Dallas. And uh, we're just constantly sending stuff back and forth. So uh, I got a package from Rube. He has Ross stores down in Dallas, which I don't have here. He also has, <clears throat> what's that called, Box Lunch? I think he got this one at Box Lunch, but or was it Think Geek? I don't recall. I don't have either of those stores near me. They're like 200, 300 miles away. So the package that I got from Rube, very, very happy to get the Joker multiverse figure. So now I have Croc's other leg. I like this figure. Again, the face sculpt is not dead on accurate, but I just like the way they look. I like the whole line. And then I also got, very, very happy to get Captain Boomerang. I liked him more the second time around watching him on the uh, Blu-ray, but uh, 
He found him at Ross for nine bucks, which is freaking awesome. And then I got um, Crocs arm there too. So I can finally finish my Killer Croc Build-A-Figure. Um, I have the regular version here. I'm currently hunting for the Toys R Us exclusive Joker in the suit, Toys R Us exclusive Harley in the jacket, and um, Diablo. I still need Diablo. He's a harder one to find, but people are finding him at Walmart. I haven't seen him at all at any of my Walmarts. Um, I did see the Joker in the suit at my local Toys R Us, and right now I think he's $15.99 on uh, their website with free shipping, so I might just pick that one up. I have never, ever seen the Harley with her jacket on, and that figure comes with the, um, the jacket for Killer Croc, so uh, definitely going to try and find that one. I might have to resort to Evil Bay for that one, but uh, definitely want to get the additional add-on pieces for this Croc figure. I really like the Croc. So I got that from Rube. He also sent me this Walking Dead pop, this New York Comic Con Shane pop. Again, I think this, this was either a Box Lunch exclusive or a Think Geek exclusive. I forgot which one he got it at, but thank you. Thank you very, very much, Rube the Great. As always, I do bow down to your greatness. Um, I think that everyone that subscribes to me probably knows of Rube the Great, but if you don't, check out his channel. I will include a link to his channel in my description for this video. Check him out. He's a good hunter. He's a good dude. Um, and his videos are very entertaining. He's also part of the Syndicate. Uh, we're a group of hunters, collectors, toy reviewers, and YouTube creators. So, the other thing that I got in the mail today, again in the last video, I said that I took advantage of the uh, $15 sale that the uh, Collector Core, the, basically the Funko subscription boxes were having on Black Friday. And I purchased three total boxes. You saw the Star Wars one in the last video but I got the Marvel and the DC one today. So let me show you what I got. The Marvel one, I got the Secret Wars box, and I believe this might be the last and only one that they produced that had two pops in it. Um, very, very cool box. Let me show you the patch and the pin real quick. Very cool Sam Wilson Falcon patch. And then a very cool, whoop, he's upside down. That is the, I forgot the armor that that is. That's not the superior Iron Man, or is it? It's um, one of the newer Iron Man armors that Tony, Tony Stank wore, but I forgot the name of that damn armor. And uh, here is the t-shirt. I like this t-shirt a lot, it's freaking sweet. Got my size right. And here is the shirt. So it's got Miles Morales, Lady Thor, Sam Wilson, Cap, and then that, I think it's called Superior Iron Man, um, or he turned into a dick <laughs> for several issues. Um, I forgot why he turned into a jackass, but he did. I forgot. I'll have to reread re that comic. Um, it went on for a little while, and I did like it. Uh, here is the comic book, Secret Wars number one. Is this number one? Secret Wars number one variant. Collector Core variant with Lady Thor on the cover. And then here are the pops. Ah, I see some damage to the freaking Lady Thor box. Actually, it's just to the, uh, nope, it's to the box too. Box window and the box has a, a wee bit of damage, but... Here's Lady Thor. Uh, just a little kind of damage right there on the spine of the box window. And then there was this little nick down here too. Nothing too noticeable. I've been wanting this and the, uh, the other pop here for a long, long time. I've just been hesitant to pull the trigger. But as soon as I saw him for $15, had to do it. Absolutely had to do it because with shipping it was only $22. So I got a t-shirt, two pops, a comic book, freaking pin and a patch for 22 bucks. Here's the Miles Morales. I like Miles a lot. 
Sometimes I like Miles more than Peter Parker. Um, he's more interesting to me now because I've been reading Spider-Man comics for a long, long time. Like in the 200s is when I started, when I was a kid. And um, I've read just about every story about Peter there is to tell. So Miles is uh, new, refreshing. Um, I like his character a lot. So um, I'm interested in Miles Morales stories. But uh, very, very cool pop. Glad they changed the sticker because that's an ugly ass exclusive sticker that they used to have. But uh, cool pop. Miles and Lady Thor. So that was the Secret Wars box. That was the Marvel box that I got. Throw that down there. And then the other box that I got was a Legion of Collectors box. I got the Suicide Squad box. So very apropos, considering what today is, being Suicide Squad Blu-ray release day. Um, this might be my favorite patch that I've ever gotten in a subscription box. Check that patch out. That's badass. It's Katana patch. I think it looks freaking awesome. Just a very clean design. I like the, um, I'm assuming that's Japanese writing on the side there. I apologize if I'm incorrect, but, uh, I think that's an awesome looking patch. Kudos to Funko for that patch. It's freaking sweet. And then here's the pin. It is a dead shot pin. I don't understand why in the movie they switched Deadshot's eyepiece. Because in all of the comic books, I watched some of the behind the scenes stuff on the Blu-ray. And they show like all the reference material that the characters came from. And in every picture that they showed of the comic, Deadshot has his eyepiece on the other side, on this side. Uh, in the movie, it's on this side. So I don't understand why they took that liberty to just switch the eye up. I don't know if it was just a design choice or if it has something to do with uh, he could see better out of the other eye. So whatever. I wish they hadn't changed it. It's just more authentic to the source material if they keep those little things in that us freaking comic book geeks bitch about. But anyway, uh, let me tell you about this box. So I showed you the patch and the pin. I'm going to show you this comic book. They gave me Suicide Squad number one. that right? Is this a reprint? I'm assuming it's a reprint uh, with the uh, Legion of Collector exclusive cover. It's probably a reprint. But um, got the comic. <clears throat> I'm going to show you the shirt. I always check to make sure they got my size. <laughs> I'm paranoid that they're going to send me the wrong size for some reason. That's why I always say, oh, they got me the right size. Let me put this stuff over here. So here's the shirt with the Suicide Squad box. Very cool shirt. I like it. I will wear this. Good stuff. So I got that shirt. I got this shirt. I have a lot of pop shirts now. Not a bad thing. They fit me really well. They're very soft material. For those of you that don't subscribe to the Collector Core boxes or the Legion of Collectors or the frickin' uh, Smuggler's Bounty, it's a pretty good deal. Even the shitty boxes, even the ones that I didn't really like, it's still a pretty good deal. Even the ones where I'm getting these <laughs> cameo appearance by Doctor Strange mug uh, or this one, it's a good deal. So anyway, I uh, showed you the shirt. What did I forget? Showed you the comic. Oh, these things. People freaking hated on these. I personally love these things. It's a three and three quarter inch Suicide Squad figure. There's the Joker. I think it looks awesome. I love the shape of the card. It reminds me that of something that I would buy in like the 80s. Um, it's not a whole lot of articulation. It's Pretty detailed though for a three and three quarter inch 
figure. I'm going to keep it on card. I'm not going to take them out of uh, the card. But I think it's a pretty freaking cool display piece, personally. And I saw that they might be producing these as like a, another series that Funko is producing. And I might actually buy some of those depending on the price point. Um, if it's like sub, like, I don't know, seven, eight bucks a piece, they're probably going to be like 10 to 12 bucks, which is maybe a little bit too high for something like this. But I don't know. I kind of like them. I think it looks cool. Nothing on the card back, though. It's basically just credits. But uh, I like how it's like a bomb shape. It's just a cool looking uh, display piece. So I like these. A lot of people did not like these. And then last but not least, the pop. And I was a little disappointed to find that my Enchantress pop was damaged out of the package. And you could see the damage right there. Got a big ass freaking rip right out of the box. And here's the only drawback to these collector boxes is Legion of Collectors, Smuggler's Bounty, Marvel Collector Core, they will not send you a replacement uh, for a damaged box. Uh, I've had damaged boxes before, I've written them, and they're like, no, the internal uh, product was in good shape, so we will not refund you. We cannot guarantee the shape of the box or of this card, carded box. That's a big ass bummer because um, I keep all of my exclusive pops on card. So this one's going to have a big old rip in it. Uh, but oh well. I still like it. I still think it's a freaking awesome looking pop. But I don't know. Maybe I'll pick up another one on the secondary market just to uh, have a mint one and then take this one out of package because I like the way it looks. So that was it. That's my haul for today. Um, thank you, Rube DeGrade, for sending me that package. You are the man. You are great. Greatness tour. Uh, so I got uh, the pieces for my Killer Croc. Got a few pops. Lady Thor, Miles Morales, Enchantress. Got some cool looking three and three quarter inch figures. Got a couple t-shirts that look really good. Here's another Funko t-shirt that I'm wearing right now, Rogue One. I am very, very excited to say that I am going to see Rogue One Thursday night, opening night, 7 p.m. I'll be at the first showing uh, in 3D. Unfortunately, I bought my ticket uh, only two weeks out. These things were on sale like a month out. So I'm sitting in the second row. So I'm probably not going to have the best view of the entire screen. I'm probably going to be looking straight up. Uh, I'm also, unfortunately, going by myself. I can't go with Mrs. Cincy because I'm going to be in Columbus for the next uh, few days. So I'll be uh, enjoying it the first time by myself in 3D. But uh, I am taking next Monday off, vacation day, just to see Rogue One for the second time. I'm going to see it in 2D the second time. I'm going to sit right in the middle of the freaking theater. Uh, I'm going to get a big-ass thing of popcorn. Uh, and then the third viewing will be with Mrs. Cincy. Because I have a feeling I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really like this movie. So... Uh, yeah, Rogue One, Thursday night. Not sure if I'm going to be able to take any footage while I'm there. It's probably going to be pretty freaking packed, but um, looking forward to it. But the next video that I have, I guarantee, I promise, I will show you that unboxing for that Luke Skywalker Red 5 pilot sideshow figure. But for right now, that's it for uh, this video. Thanks for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting, for subscribing, for sharing. You guys are awesome. I appreciate it. I just passed 1,600 subscribers, which is mind-blowing to me. I can't believe it. Uh, when I first started this channel, I never thought that I would even see 100 subscribers, let alone 1,600 plus subscribers. It's amazing to me. You guys are awesome. Let's do this together. Let's uh, let's uh, go on this journey together. But thanks for watching again. And as always, have fun collecting. Have a good night. And go watch Suicide Squad. And go watch Rogue One. That's a really close <laughs> image of my finger. My finger looks gigantic. <laughs> looks like Pinocchio's nose. <laughs> All right. See you guys later. Bye.